Hey everyone, it's Rebecca Rhodes. This uh, owl has come a lot further today. I'm going to keep working on it. And I'm working on deepening some of the darks to get ready for glazing. And I'm, I'm working on the beak right now, and I'm using straight ultramarine blue. And it looks blue on the palette, but it will look black on the paper. It'll look black on the paper due to the colors underneath. At least that's the plan. Actually, <laughs> it looks blue on the paper, so I'm just going over it with some brown. That is some of this brown right here. It's picking up a little bit. And uh, I'm putting it in the darkest parts. There's hardly any color on the brush. I'm just touching it in, just in the darkest parts, which is right along the edge of the beak. And then uh, I don't want any straight lines, so I'm just kind of touching in some, right? Just touching in some texture. Up just a little tiny bit of color on the brush. And I gotta work around the little hairs. Now, as there's less color on the brush. I'm going to just start touching in texture. It's not as dark now because the brush is losing the paint. That's looking good. I'm going to put some up here. I see another dark area right up here. I picked up a little bit more paint. This is like the consistency of cream and coffee or tea. Just a tiny, tiny bit on the tip of the brush. And then as the color, as the, as the brush loses color, I'll just keep touching in texture. I think I just need a little bit right here. See, I'm working around the little hair, or yeah, the little hairs. And it's lighter on top. I figure there's a reflection, or there's a reflection from the blue sky. Hey, that's good. I like that. I'm going to do the bottom beak now. Picking up this dark brown. I'm putting it in the darkest parts. Working around the little hairs. It's fun. This is a pretty small painting. I think I... I measured it yesterday, I, what was it, 3.5 by 4.5 or something like that. I want to work on some uh, smaller paintings because I can get them done faster and, hey, they're more affordable. All right. Maybe a little deeper right here. See, I'm just touching it in really, I'm barely, I'm barely touching the brush to the paper. And just, it dries really quickly because I'm using very thin applications. Hey, that looks good. I like that. Okay, now, next, I'm going to take some, some of that dark Ah, it's almost black, right? A little bit, tiny, tiny bit. And I've got some black shapes here. And i got to be aware of the direction 
that these are gone. And then it's just a little thicker here. So I gradually build texture with thin applications. Good. All right. I'm going to turn my uh, I'm turning my reference photo. It's a good idea to turn the photo and turn the painting to see from a different perspective. Here's some dark brown. We have a, I drew this little shape. And I just want to make it kind of fit in better with the area around it. Just like that. All right, now. Picking up some black. Going to bring this shape out a little more. I'm using a super light touch so I don't touch any of that color underneath. All right, now that needs to dry. This is going to have to go darker, but it will. So what I'm doing over here is I was putting in texture to prepare for glazing. And I'll just finish putting in some final textures with some black. Do I want black? Yeah. I got some lines here that help to create the contour. They look kind of dark, but it's okay. Right? These are going to help to create a sense of roundness. All right, I'm just going to put in, picking up some brown, just put in some final markings, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next. All right. Now, I'm going to do a glaze. I'm going to do a glaze, and I'm going to use this. There's this burnt sienna, and it's got some ultramarine blue mixed in and it's super watery. I'm going to pick up a little bit of that on the brush and this is the glaze. I'm just going to gently touch it in over the previous markings. I need, I'm putting more water in it. It needs to be like really, really watery. What this does is it's going to smooth the textures. I love this. It smooths the textures and it unifies the values. It unifies the dark, the lights, and the midtones. Man, that looks good. Glazing's fun. I'm using a really, really light touch. And I'm, you see how I'm applying the color in a direction of the fur markings. That looks good. Now it's more white over here, but I gotta gently blend it in. I mean, I want it to gradually blend. I wipe my brush on the paper towel, and so there's hardly any color on it, and I'm just barely touching the paper. So you see, it just gradually goes. That looks, yeah, it gradually goes to white. This is too bright, so I'll just go over it. Nice. You see this little line here? That's a little too bright, so I'm just going to go over it. Good. Now I'm just going to take, all right, what are we doing? 
I'm going to go, I'm going to move, I'll be signing off right around 1225, so I've got a little bit of time yet. I already put textures in this area. And I'm going to start the first glaze with that same brown. I'm looking at the lightest color that I can see. And I'm just going to go, this is hot pressed paper. And what I like about it is you can lay down color and it doesn't move too much when you apply further applications over top of it. Okay, so this is a really pale brown and this is going everywhere. And I'm going to, I'll be gradually deepening the color in this area. But just so this is the lightest brown that I can see. I just want to get it everywhere and I'm applying it in the direction of the markings. How far over do I want to go with this? Because eventually it begins to, to go white. Okay, now that's going to dry quickly. This is burnt sienna. Okay, I'll pick up just a little bit with the brush. This is like a milky consistency. And I'm going into, I'm looking for the darkest parts. And I'm going to apply the burnt sienna. I'm just touching it in. I'm looking for shapes. I'm looking for anywhere I see this reddish brown. I'm just touching it in. This is just wet on dry. All right, cool, good. Now take that color and just kind of pull it down to kind of emulate little fur markings. That will dry quickly and I'll deepen it. Just going to go ahead and go in and deepen. All right. I'm going to pick up some watery burnt sienna. And just pull it in here, wet on dry. See how I'm curving with the uh, curve of the hairs? Just slowly building color with thin applications. All right, going to bring some of it in here. I'll be signing off in about two minutes, and tomorrow I'll be away, but I'll be back on Thursday. This is Burnt Sienna. All right, probably... I'm hoping by the time you see this again, it'll be finished. Uh, here's something else I'm working on. 
This is another mini painting, right? And I'm also working on some dictionary art. That's an owl. Okay. Time for lunch. Thanks for watching.